Hey guys, welcome back to uh, the stream. <laughs> I have had an issue trying to get back up on uh, online for some reason. It's been crazy. Anyway, for those of you who are sticking around, this is just simply, you guys, uh, one of you had requested a sim port tutorial, and I thought, well, you know, why not? I've been doing it all weekend long, so might as well just kind of give you an idea of what I do, and um, we'll go from there. So to get started on it, first of all, let me go ahead and turn these guys loose or just head back to the house. Um, you definitely need, obviously, a registered version of the Sims 3 game so you can register it with the Sims 3 uh, page. So you need to be able to actually go out and have a My Page on their site. And you'll note if you've got that because, of course, you either registered your games with your codes or if you had Origin, it's already registered. And um, basically, you just have to go look at your page, make sure that it all shows that you have the icons underneath registered to you. In addition, you, of course, will definitely need Showtime. So we're going to turn this off, and before I actually go any further, because I don't want to deal with uh, what I know I'm going to deal with, which would be music, we're going to turn that off, and that should be good. All right, these guys are just kind of doing their own thing, but before I get them going too much further, I also want to cheat a little bit with them as well. So since this is just a example video, I'm not really concerned about anything else. I just want them to all be happy and not have to worry about anything. So let's just make everybody happy, give everybody static needs. Okay. So, to do it, you've got, like in my town, in my house, I've got three sims. Ideally, you should have four, to be perfectly honest with you. Um, four sims would be perfect, that way you could send three out at a time if you need to. But, you don't have to. You just have to have at least two sims in your household. There always has to be one active sim on your lot, so you can't send everybody out at the same time. Uh, to be the best thing probably would to be to uh, build like a plumb bot or something and have them here just as a, a extra person for your house or just have a kid or somebody that's just staying here at the house. All right. To simport, you go over here to your options. Simport is your bottom option. And you'll see I've done quite a bit. <laughs> I'm actually getting pretty close. I've gotten 68 out of my 90, which it's, it's taken a while, but it's there. All right. Over here, you've got a request. We've got somebody that's actually wanting to put on the show, and they like somebody. They need a level 10 acrobat, which I've got one. So for Adam Lucy, this came today at 12.20. I don't know what 12.20 they're talking about because it's definitely not 1220 where I'm at so I don't know how soon or how recent that was but I can just accept it and send my sim there it's gonna actually uh, do something for me in a minute I want to show you something a little bit different though anyway your singer stops uh, and all your different stops they're all here normally when you see them they're gonna have this little star on them which means you have not actually received the stamp for them but once you actually have gone you'll get a stamp on all of these and in green that means you've got somebody in your household that could go and do whatever gig this is that they're asking for so like right now I've got a singer that could do pretty much anything and they're available um, as far as my magician it's the same thing um, anybody that needs any magicians I've got one he can go do any of the actual stamps that you need for him and the same thing for my acrobat so they're all good but what I'm trying to work on now is not so much the sending of my sims but also the receiving so in my parks um, I've already received all the park venues so these would be all my singers this is all my magicians these are all my uh, acrobats so they're all basically these three in a row I've gotten all my park badges done um, of course then you've got your coffee house which I did those those took a while but I got all of those as well I'm currently working on this one which is my live show venues and I have not even started the private venue or the big show so that's really where I'm stuck I'm working on these right here so what I wanted to do is I wanted to go ahead and send somebody out uh, before uh, when I decide I want to host somebody I'm kind of locked in. I can't do anything. So the best thing to do is if you're going to send any of your sims out, do it early. Do it now. That way you don't have to worry about it. And since this guy over here wants a sim, he needs the, uh, let's see, an acrobat, I'm going to go ahead and say, yeah, I'll send an acrobat out to him. So if I say accept, it's going to automatically ask me if I want to send him over there. I say yes. This is the guy I have to send him. I'm going to go ahead and click on him. It's going to ask me if I'm sure I want to do this because it's going to start and it's going to save my game. And I say yes. Now it's going to give you this little thing, which is booking tour. It's going to take it a few minutes, maybe. It won't take that long, but it's going to take it a while for it to actually send it out there. Now, if this um, opportunity has already been taken, let's say somebody else has already picked up that job and it's done, it's going to come back and tell me that the booking failed. So don't think that it was an issue with your computer. It just means somebody else picked it up, so you don't have to do it. You don't really see that so much now. You used to when Simport was really new and big and people were doing it all the time. Now it's kind of rare. It's one of those, you know, just 
let it go. Um, but as it does this, once it books it like that, now it's saving it. It's got to save your game before it sends you out. And at this point, you just kind of wait, let it go, do its thing. And we're going to take our time. <laughs> we're going to wait. So um, it does take a little bit longer to save because I've got a lot of stuff on this lot with these games. Well, actually, not as much on this lot because I didn't load them up. I kept everything in the family inventory, I guess. Oh yeah, I have been really going nuts over this import stuff, and I'm going to finish it up. I really am. I just, I'm just I'm on a mission now. Okay, at this point, the one that's leaving is my acrobat, which I believe it is you. My Ger uh, Gerald, Gerard, whatever his name is. Um, so he should be leaving in just a minute. You're going to see he gets this little thing right here to say he's leaving to go on tour, which is great. Um, you can't really do anything. You don't really mess with him. Don't interfere with him. He's just going to do his thing. At this point, I don't do anything. I just wait. Oh, yeah, I slept. I slept quite a bit. I don't really do anything at all. I just wait until he leaves. And it's going to be just basically like a kid going off to university. Or not university, but to boarding school or something like that. They'll get grayed out, and you won't see them anymore. Um, so he'll leave. If he's a high level like my guy is, he's going to go with his... Uh, his limo. What I would tell you is if you are playing this and you have any vehicles in your inventory, do not leave them in your inventory. Because as soon as you do this, it's going to sell them. It's going to sell them and give you this message that, oh, this item was sold due to a Sim's death. Uh, it's not true. It's just it just got rid of your vehicle. So if you have things like a motive mobile or something that you've spent money or lifetime reward points on, put it in the family inventory. Save it. Keep it safe there. It won't mess with it in the family inventory. I wouldn't even bother putting it in the other people's inventories because they could possibly leave it at a parking lot. Your other sim could pick it up. As you can see, now he's gone. So at this point, I have control of only two sims, which is great. But definitely make sure anything... Uh, most other stuff will stay in your inventory. It's just vehicles that you have to worry about. So those are the only things you really can't keep in there. All right, at this point now, um, if I wanted to send one of these other guys out, I would do the same thing. I would go over here. Obviously, you can't go into Edit Town until your sim comes back. So you're stuck. You have to leave your town however it is. And if you save it, um, it won't want you to save either. It'll give you a message that says it's going to cancel the tour. So you kind of locked yourself into it. And for this one, we're locked in until 2.04 on Wednesday. So really not that much, about 12 hours. So we just have to play for 12 hours and then he'll be back. And then we can save and edit and do all the things we need to do. But if I want to send one of the other guys out, I could go ahead and say, okay, well, right now it's in green, it's giving me green arrows, saying, yeah, you can. You can send up to four people at a time. So I could send either one of these guys out to go do something else if they wanted to. Well, I don't have anybody requesting anything over here, so I'm going to leave them here for now until somebody says that they need them. So I'm not going to worry about it. What I really would like to do, though, is go back over here and I've got some needs here for some people to show up in my parks. So over here, I would like to have a level 10 magician come to my live show venue. So I'm going to click on this one. I can either choose to send it to everybody in my friend book, which means all you guys are going to get this request, or I could go specifically and find one person. Maybe if I, if I know that this person right here is importing a lot, I, I could just send it straight to her and that would be the only person that would get it. But I'm going to send it out to everybody, and I'm going to go ahead and push it out there right now. It says, do you want to post it? Yeah. All right, so once we do that, go back over here. Nothing's there. If you go back in again, you'll see that your request is actually out here right now. Now, I let it go up here because when it does that little circle, this side over here is loading. Obviously, nothing is really going at this point. But at this point I'm just gonna let them hold on for just a minute I'm gonna move over to my laptop where I have basically the same thing I just have different sims and they're over on a different version of the game so over there when I pull it up I'm gonna go over the sim port panel and what they have done I'm gonna pull it up over here to kinda of show you and tell you what I'm talking about over on theirs I'm getting that same message that we had earlier that says that somebody actually is wanting a performer so I'm gonna go ahead and accept it and it's gonna say yeah are you sure I'm gonna say yes I am I'm gonna pick the sim that I want to send over and it's gonna then go through the whole booking process real quick and then save on the laptop version so while it's doing that I'm gonna let these guys just swim around do what they want to do they want me to host three sims which is great uh, you can get the couple of lifetime rewards for them too if you really want one of them would be um, I believe he's already got it. No, Fearless Voyager and Perfect Host. These are the ones that get you more points and uh, 
let's see, Fearless Voyager. Might as well go ahead and do it. It's the only time I'm ever really going to use it. These are the lifetime rewards that you would need for all of them, but really, Perfect Host is just the one that you would need for uh, uh, for the hosting. Okay, we already now have that. My other character, my other uh, account, they've accepted my request. So you'll see it popped up here. Um, and then if I just go ahead and click it from here, it opens the same thing up. So now you see that this is the request that um, I've just asked for it, and they said, yes, I am ready to come perform in your town. If I accept it, I don't say yes, are you sure? I'm say, yeah, I'm sure. This is the only chance you're going to get to save your game if you want to save it. You don't have to, but you can. not So at this point, I'm going to say, no, nah, I'm good. We just started the game, so I don't really need to save it. But I can't save again until this guy comes. It will pop up in just a minute and tell me when my sim is coming. All right, they're going to come show up at Mix Karaoke on Wednesday at 5.30. So, not too bad. I, I've got a little bit of time to waste. So, I'm going to go ahead and just speed them up on level 2. There's really nothing else for them to do. Um, they're just going to hang out here at the pool. I believe I have Summer on eternally here in this game, so it's not a big deal. Now, on my laptop, on the other game, my character just left the screen, just like we saw before. So, he's actually gone. And I can't really see you guys' comments unless I pull up my iPad. So, I'm, I've got three screens now. So, it's hard enough for me to do two. <laughs> I'm trying to do three. Um, it's pretty impossible. But that's all right. And this is an extremely small type, so it's hard for me to do it. Now, I could go on level on speed three if I want. It doesn't really matter to me at this point. But, really, all I'm doing is I'm just kind of holding out. If you go into map view... You're going to see that, yeah, we've got, um, there's a singogram we can have, but this is actually showing that where my sim is going to come to perform in my town, and it's going to tell me what time. Now, one of the things I like to do is I like to go ahead and bring my sims over and get them close. So I'm going to go right down over here, and this is a great place for me to go do this. So we're going to go ahead and go here with your, I think I left with just friends, I believe. It's not just brother. Uh, best friend, yeah. So they're just friends. All right. I think it one no, it's the other ones I made brothers. Okay, it's not this game, it's a different one. All right, we're gonna send them over here and just get them close so that they're where they need to be. And then I'm gonna have you, since you are a let's see, what are you, a singer? You're gonna perform for tips, and you, as my good old magician, you are gonna do the same thing. So that just kind of gets you hopefully yeah i'm gonna hear the song so i'll back up a little bit from that so we don't have to hear the copyrights and all that i could put him on another lot but i like to actually have him close to where my sim's gonna show up so i can be on the lookout for him i know what this guy looks like so i know who should be showing up and i'm gonna speed up a little bit through this for right now <laughs> my sim's coming back at two o'clock so when he gets back it won't be long after that till we're gonna have our uh, sim port performer show up Hopefully he will show up and do everything correctly because I have had an issue with my singer. She will come, she'll walk in the door, she'll look at the stage, and then she turns around and leaves and I get nothing. And it's, she's done it three times. So I've currently got two new sims that are working on their singing ability and they're going to be taking her spot because I think she must have an issue. Um, now, of course, he's got his phone on, which is not good. I should never have that on, but it just happens. Uh, no, we're not going to go do that. Sorry. And again, of course, if I have my phone... Well, see, it was supposed to be silence. For some reason, his phone is messed up. I don't know. They're all... I think all their phones are messed up at this point. I don't know. I did something with them I shouldn't have, I guess. Uh, I could be doing all this other stuff, but they're all level 10. So really, they're just kind of killing time waiting for the performer. So really, there's no reason for me to do anything with them except sit here and wait. So that's what I do. Typically... They're in their uh, their hot tub, usually waiting. They're skinny dipping in the hot tub, or they're playing in the pool in the waterfall, or they're drinking the juice keg. They're doing something like that while they're waiting for somebody to show up. But uh, it takes a while. All right, he should be back any minute. And again, I will send him over here once he gets here, but it takes a while. By the way, this new sim, he is actually here in town already. Um, he's standing off somewhere on the, on the edge of the world. Uh, I know where it happens in Lucky Palms. I don't know exactly where it happens here. But you can actually go find them and you can go interact with them and talk to them. But they are here. Um, they just won't come over to this building. No, 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 I do not want to. I don't want to bring him back. No, don't click on him. That's how you get him to come back early, by the way. So if you click on him, you get that option. But he's already back. So he just came back. And I'm going to send him over here as well. So he can just hang out with the rest of us. Shouldn't take much longer before they show up. Now, we don't know if uh, he's been seen yet by his friend. 
every once in a while you'll start getting messages that say a little birdie is telling you what's happening. That means that somebody is actually watching your sim perform. So if you get that, then you know that somebody's actually truly watching your sim on stage at that moment. Um, sometimes though they don't. <laughs> sometimes they never make it to the show. But you still get credit. So as long as your sim disappeared like that, you are going to get credit. So at least on your end. If you cancel on the other end, if you cancel on this end, you don't get any sim points. But we should have no problem getting everything we need. Alright, everybody's just performing for tips. This room's open because he's basically on their lot. And I'm just holding out waiting until it's time for the show. It should be any minute. Well, actually, 5 o'clock, I think. I'm hoping we don't have an issue with this, but again, there has been a possibility for that. But we'll find out real soon if it is or not. So, Alright, still haven't seen my guy yet, but it's still a little early. He normally comes about 30 minutes early, so I think the show starts at 5, so he should be there about... No, he should be... I think it starts at 5.30. Now, because my testing cheats are on, um, they will not get fatigued, so they can do this all day long. The Sims that are over on my laptop, they have not stopped. They're over there just working on leveling up their performance because i got to get my other guys ready. All right, that's not my guy. He'll be there in about five, so we'll just hold on and wait and see if he shows up. There he is. So that's my guy right there. And you can see right here, I can actually see Orzo the Effervescent. I didn't make that up. That's what the game gave him. So I'm going to go ahead and stop... Uh, this guy right here and have him go have a seat and I'm going to send you guys all over here to at least see if we can be there for the show alright you go ahead and do the same thing hopefully he's going to actually perform um, there is a possibility that he will turn around and lead too I hope not but there is that possibility if he walks over to the stage we have a better shot that he's actually going to go through and <laughs> do the show but he won't do it until actually right at 5.30 so he'll wait till his time <laughs> Which I don't blame him, he's on the clock. He's getting paid. Hey, don't you dare leave. <laughs> Just stay where you are. Um, I guess I should tell you guys to stop. Where are you going? Oh, you're going to go outside and perform? There you go. So at least this is actually giving me a good feeling that he's actually walking towards the stage to actually do this. And at this point, you can either choose the venue stage or you can create a stage for him if you like. I'm just going to let him use whatever the venue has just because it doesn't really matter to me. And so he is going to go ahead and do his show. The nice thing is I don't have to actually do anything. Um, I'm going to have you guys come in and watch the show. What is your problem? Just watch the show. <laughs> Just deal with it. All right. Brandon, <laughs> the seat's available. They get real particular on their seats. They really want certain ones. I don't know why, but they do. All right, go ahead and watch the show, and let's see if we can start interacting with it. Seriously, now you're going to do the same garbage? I swear. Alright, at least you're doing it. Alright, so at this point, we can actually make a request. We can tell him, hey, we want you to levitate yourself. So let's go ahead and do that first. And then, of course, I want you to throw something at him. You're going to go ahead and give him some bubble bath, which I don't know if he's ever going to see it or not. But you might as well. And then, every time somebody comes to my town, no matter who they are, they always get a duck. <laughs> it's just my, that's my standard. You gotta give a duck whenever you throw this. It adds to their army. Now, whether or not they get to take it when they go back home, I don't know. Um, we'll wait and see. Of course, you saw he did exactly what we requested, but if I tell him I want him to do something else, um, maybe I'd like to see him next time do... Uh, I want to do the free bird solution, so we're going to go do that next. Hopefully he doesn't die, because he does not have a death flower, but, you know, it won't matter. If he dies here, he'll still be alive back in my game, so it does not matter if he dies. It is kind of nice to be able to see it from both ends. So, you know, I'm watching over here. In my laptop, he's still out on tour, so it's kind of like, okay, he is really doing this, but I have them on regular speed. I don't have them speeded up at all, but... um. In just a little bit, we should be able to get all of our stuff done, and we should have a stamp. We'll get a stamp for both my sim and my laptop sims. So that's what I'm calling them, at least. <laughs> They're my laptop sims. But that's basically it. I'm going to speed him up a little bit, and he's going to call somebody else up. I wonder if it'll be me. Oh, it is. So my sim gets to participate. <laughs> that's good. Not always. I mean, that's why I like to be here, because, you know, sometimes they do get to participate in these things, and sometimes they don't. But it is kind of fun to see him do this. 
Uh, the show goes pretty quick. He'll be done by 8.30, so in just a minute we should be wrapping this thing up. And one of the things you can do to kind of make sure that he does is tell him, hey, I want you to just don't do any more of that stuff. I want you to do this. It's so funny to wear the same outfit because they're both the same skill level, but that's all right. Um, yeah, go ahead and watch the show, and are you leaving? I guess you're leaving. Get off the show stage. Yeah, well, he just got upset with you. Are we done? Yeah, he's done. Okay. At that point, once he's done, you know, we got the money because we got the, uh, we were the host. So you'll get money for that. You'll also get money on the other end because you sent them. But up here, now you got your Simport stamp right here. So we just got a stamp done. So at this point, my magician has covered all of my uh, live show venues. So I really just need my acrobat to do two, and my singer needs to come and do one. But she's having issues, so I'll have to wait and see if the new guys can participate and do it better. But um, that should now give me... 69 out of 90 so that was good over on my other screen I'm getting basically the same type of message but I'm getting a different stamp so when I actually look at theirs um, I get the same deal I get a little stamp but for theirs it's showing me one of these over here and it's giving me that same little animation that I'm getting that stamp you'll notice that they're all blocked out of red that's because I don't have anybody that could go on tour right now he still is actually recovering apparently you can bypass that if you really want to. Um, if you want to be able to send him a little bit faster, you'll have to wait until uh, he actually finishes up. He'll be it'll have a moodlet for four hours. We don't know if he's ac actually been seen or not, or if anybody's going to do anything or not. But that's basically simport. That's all you do. And now you can't do anything right now. You still are you know, stopped from saving or doing anything. So don't mess with it because you won't get anything if you do. But if you just hold off, he'll leave the, the uh, screen in just a minute. And then we'll be ready to actually send port with somebody else. Which will be kind of nice to see if uh, my singer can work. I'm going to try that in just a minute. But you get all these little postings, and so those actually show up on your wall. I don't know where you went. Oh, you went home. <laughs> He's smart. He's like, I've had enough. <laughs> I've done enough with you crazy people for one day. Yeah, well, we ought to at least check the mail, make sure we don't get Repo Man coming. Now that we have the uh, Edit Town free, that means we're done, so we can go ahead and save our game, and we don't have to worry about um, losing any of our progress from here. But that's Simport. Simport. So if you were curious how to use it, it's pretty basic. Just make sure you're connected to the Internet. Make sure you play through the entire duration. Um, the hardest part is, as you can see, it was easy for me to do it because I had control of both characters. I had control of both the one I sent and the one that I was actually receiving. But the other one, the first one we sent out, where I sent Brandon out to go, or no, I sent my magician out to go, I don't know when or if he's ever going to get seen. So after a while, if nothing happens, I think it's like 24 real hours that it will eventually uh, time out. But you can cancel it out as well if you want. If you're like, oh, I don't think this person's really still playing, all you really have to do is just go right up in here to Simport. If you click on him, you can cancel it from here. So if you click that, you cancel the tour. You don't get any points, um, but it's okay. It'll just actually give you control of your sim again, so you can actually go back again and continue working. So, And I would do it after a while. I'd actually decide whether or not I want to actually continue playing with him or not. So... If you guys had any questions or whatnot at all about Simport, that is it. So, But yes, you can definitely send your Sims to me. I will take them. Again, as you guys have noticed, if you're wondering what I'm looking for, <laughs> if you really want to know, um, I'm looking for just the last little few here on the live show. But really, anything that's a private venue or a big show, that's what I'm looking for, which of course is going to be... Um, it's going to be a while. Yeah, if you actually are hosting, it'll take about 12 hours. Um, if they don't show up for over 12 hours, uh, go ahead and cancel it. What will happen is I will still get credit if I'm the one that sent it. Um, if like if you've got some one of my sims comes to you and they haven't shown up for their performance or you have to leave early, if you go ahead and save and it sends my sim back, you're not going to get any points on your end, but I'll still get my points on mine. So you won't mess up another person. It's just going to be something you'll have to go do it again later on. So, no, you can't mess up anybody else's game. You really can't. Um, and basically, if you have a sim that, like, if I had a sim that I didn't have 
that expansion pack, it's going to just put like random uh, clothing or something on them. It's not going to do anything different. But um, but yeah, it's really not a big issue. So um, I'm playing pretty much all the time. <laughs> I really am. I'll be playing late tonight. So uh, you guys can send them whenever you like. But um, I am definitely playing a bit. But anyway, if you guys are looking for any, again, I don't have to send anybody out, but I've got all three. So again, like I said, if you're looking to get any of these things done, let me know and I will send them out. What I would recommend to you is before you accept somebody to come into your world to perform, make sure you've sent everybody out that you need to send out because um, that way when you send them out, you won't, you know, when you actually send them out, you have to save but if you're waiting for somebody to perform, you can't save. So do all the ones you're sending first, then set up your, your show for your current world. No, I'm off tomorrow, so I will be up late tonight. So I don't have to do anything. So hopefully you guys got something out of this. And again, like I said, I'm just on a mission to get these stinking things done. I'm so close. I'm like 21 away. So I really want to get them finished. So if you guys are out and around and you want to try simporting just to practice or play around with it, give me a request again if I don't send it right away it's just because I'm waiting and I'm trying to go through speed two or three to try to get through uh, but I will get there as quickly as I can so and I will try to send somebody to you speaking of which oh we got requests so if you guys are any of these people um, yeah I'll accept you and yes I'll accept you too so that'll work so if that happened to be you awesome <laughs> all right very good so guys anyway um, I'll look for your sim port request if you've got them and I will send I've got my three guys and I'll probably be making a plum bot so I'll be able to send all three of them at any time um, so please definitely do what you need to do I'm trying to think if there's anything else I didn't cover I think I did <laughs> I believe I covered it all but if not uh, ask me any other questions and I will definitely do my best to help you out if I went too fast or if I didn't cover it clearly enough, let me know. I will more than happily go back through it again. All right, guys. Thank you all so much for watching and for being a part of the whole Simport thing because I have really enjoyed it. It's frustrating, but I've enjoyed getting this done. And um, it, I know how how terrifying this is to get there. Well, not terrifying, but how frustrating it is to get it done. If you need help, please send me the request. I will help you out. It does not matter. If you're not sure if I'm playing or not, chances are I am. So, because I, I have horrible insomnia, so even on the days that I work, I'm usually up really, really late. So, go ahead and actually put in those requests, and I will send them out as fast as I can. Guys, thank you all so much for watching. I will see you next time.